Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer uh, this question. What type of parameters are available in SSRS report? Uh, so parameters are used uh, to filter the data. So let's go ahead and take a look uh, what type of uh, parameters are available. Here, uh, I have created some of the reports uh, and I would like to show you how exactly these uh, parameters look like. Um, so let's start with single value parameter. So as uh, we can understand from single value, it means it can accept uh, only one value. And uh, you can have drop down or you can have a text box here to select or write that uh, value. So I have created this single value and uh, you can see that at one point uh, or at one time, I can select only one value. So SSRS uh, give us option uh, to create single value parameter. Also, we have multi-value parameter. So let me show you multiple multi-value parameter. And here we can select uh, multiple values. Uh, so that's why it is called multi-value parameter. So you can see that I have created drop down. Uh, um, you can have a text box uh, that can accept uh, multiple uh, parameter values, uh, but you have to write them. Uh, it's kind of hard to uh, write them one after one. Instead of that, you might uh, like to create uh, this list uh, from the query or static values uh, and you can select uh, whatever you like. Uh, and as you can see, I can select multiple values uh, or if I would like to select all of them, uh, I can go ahead and select all. Uh, so it's my choice. Uh, and uh, let's try with a couple of them and uh, we can view our report. And you can see that we got the data for Asia region and Europe region. So now let's go to the radio button parameter. And here uh, with the values when we have Boolean type uh, such as is active or uh, some uh, maybe uh, we are using for some gender is male or female. So for those values where we have saved uh, Boolean type in our databases, uh, we can use uh, true or false so these are radio button type parameters and when you are using this one uh, as a boolean you will have the option it will come as a radio button then uh, we have a date parameter and as you can see that uh, it shows us the calendar so if you will click on the calendar you can uh, choose any data that you would like to pass as a parameter to the query and then you will run your report let's go to the cascade parameters cascade parameters are the parameter where you select one value in the first parameter and then the next list of or values of those parameter will be depending upon the first value so consider this example we have region name here if i will select any region the country names for uh, only that region will be displayed in the second uh, parameter drop down um, so that's why they are called uh, cascading um, and here let's select Asia region and as you can see that uh, now we have countries for Asia let's select India and then once I will select India only the states available for India will be displayed here so we have Gujarat and Punjab so you can select that and this combination of that this is see the first one is a single type or single value parameter this one is a multi value parameter and the state is also multi value so these three parameters together work as a cascading so you select first value then the values for the second parameter will be displayed depending on the first value you have selected and then the values of the third parameter will be shown as per the values you have selected for the second parameter that is country name in this scenario and uh, let's go to one more we have search parameter that's not really built in it's single value parameter so i have created a see this is single value parameter we do not have a drop down but we can pass some values though. so if i will pass the aa and uh, use my view report uh, button here i will see the record uh, where the name start with the a so that's the first name so you see that i have single value multi value radio button date cascading parameter and uh, those parameter can be you can use with the different combinations uh, to create your uh, report uh, so this is how you are going to answer with the details like you see the example how exactly these parameters work so go ahead in detail take a couple of minutes and explain to people what type of parameters are available and what type of parameter you have created for your report 
all these reports what I'm showing you here I have created videos on them if you don't understand from here it's very quick overview of uh, and preparing you for the interview you can go ahead and watch our videos uh, those are in the SSRS uh, video tutorial playlist thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video